to highlight all of the boxes, you have to click away, click and drag, click and drag away from any of the boxes. And as soon as you do that, then it highlights all of them. You can see all the little boxes. And then you just, wherever you see the cross, the four arrow cross, there is a fourth arrow at the bottom there, but the mouse cursor arrow is blocking it. So you just, you right click. <sighs> Hopefully you don't have that thing pop up, that copy cancel box. I don't know what's up with that. I still haven't found a use for it. And go to group. Oh, but when you highlight it, then the little box pops up. It click group on that. Okay, now it's everything. It's one whole piece. But with this one, it's just grouped. You can still get in and highlight or type the, uh, you know, if you want to capitalize the T and type, you can do that. Or uh, if you're going to do maybe the event is a name, so you have to capitalize that. So you can do that. And But it's still, uh, it's still a picture. So when I click on it, it highlights everything as just one group. So what you're going to do here is you're going to right click once again on the, one of the solid lines on the outside here and right click and click, it's already grouped. Oh, if you want to ungroup it, you can click ungroup, but you click um, save as picture and it will open, if, you, if you've never done this before, it will open to this, your pictures library, my pictures. It's, um, I've been using this a lot tonight, so it opens right to my folder. Also, if, um, for any kind of writing stuff, you should already have a USB drive, and it should have a writing folder, and there should be at least one folder in it. I recommend, uh, three folders, SA1, SA2, SA3. If you want, you can put a grammar folder on there for your BSTM scores. It's up to you. Or you can do this. Uh, picture one highlighted already, so I'm gonna put uh, timeline zero five because it's the fifth timeline picture I've created. And here I'm gonna click and select JPEG. Okay, JPEG is I um, I have better luck with JPEG instead of the PNG. So I click save and it saves it to my folder. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Microsoft Word. All right. And earlier I had I did this. I did okay, let me do page number running head uh, mine's already set for um, Arial 12. It's already automatically set, and I think I have a, a document in Blackboard that explains how to do that. Okay. The topic of SA2 is working in America. I say it's more like history, but work, you can put working in America. It's history of working in America. The... Oops. Oops. Spacebar, Tammy. Miss Tammy. Okay, working in America. Okay, then I'm going to double click outside. And uh, I imagine with the cover page, and this is going to be a, an illustrative essay that's informational, which means all of your information is going to be factual. I'm going to go to five, six pages. Okay. Um, Five. I'm gonna go to four and about. Mm, well, first I need a title. Title, and this is timeline of working in America. And you can put 1800 to 1859. Okay, then this. This. Also need sorry. <laughs> Forgot about the I want I know it's gonna be down, 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 down. There's 
minus four. Where's my... Wow. Okay, I don't need that much. Up to four. Good job. Okay, then um, I'm going to insert a picture. So I want to insert the timeline. So I go to insert in Microsoft Word picture. And I'm going to go to where I keep it on my USB. Writing. Essay stuff. Essay 2 history. Timeline 5. Ta-da. There it is. So there it is. Um, it, obviously, you're not going to have just type an event in your boxes. You're going to have actual events listed there. Uh, and it's up to you to decide. I would say uh, no, no less than six um, years to be listed in addition to 1800 and 1859. So no less than eight year boxes. And also here at the bottom, that again, I'm going to go here, one, two, three, four, five, you have to write a brief description of your timeline listing the events this paragraph must be at least three to five sentences long. That means no less than three. Okay, so when you do that, also another thing that uh, this is the next video that I'm going to describe here will be adding references. This one, SA2 and SA3 are research based, so you're going to be adding a references page. And I will tell you about the references tab in Word and how to do all the APA stuff, all that fun, fun APA stuff that is yet to come. Read a book.